here's our laundry chute. It's not an ideal situation. It drops clothes right into the wood shop where they end up full of dust and debris and whatnot. Down here on the floor, uh, there's not, typically this basket is not here. I used to have a chest of drawers right in this area. They would fall onto the chest of drawers onto the floor. It was just a disaster. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a cabinet to enclose this. I'm gonna use some old doors that I have, some, some old lumber, just leftover stuff. We're gonna put drawers underneath to replace the storage we're losing from our chest of drawers. And hopefully make a usable, not too intrusive, little laundry cabinet. Okay, here's the lower portion of our cabinet. Sorry I didn't film the construction of it. It's uh, just some MDF that I had left over from another project. And I used a uh, Craig pocket hole jig to, to uh, make some pocket holes and use some pocket hole screws to construct it. These braces here on the top and on the back here, they're all, they all use the Craig pocket holes. Uh, on the uh, bottom, I used just a couple of two by fours and I left the MDF up off the floor about a half an inch just in case the floor were to get damp or have any moisture problems. MDF is not the best when it comes to dealing with moisture. Um, it has a tendency to, to absorb moisture, swell, crumble. Probably not the best thing to use in a basement just in case that might happen. Uh, it's what I had though, so we're gonna use it and I'm gonna paint it. So it should, it'll be fine, I think it'll be fine. Over here, there's a base plate that sticks out of uh, the wall a little bit, about an inch. And that's because behind this drywall, ignore the drywall taping there, not so good. Um, behind this drywall, there's a, like, I don't know, like four or five two by fours holding up this beam above us. And so there's a base plate that sticks out a little bit. So I had to notch the bottom of this cabinet just to clear that little base plate that sticks out. Um, when we get ready to attach it, we'll shim it, get it all level and perfect, and screw it to the wall. This dimension, I think, is perfect for this. Here are the cabinets we're losing, so this will replace this chest of drawers, this old chest of drawers that I found in my grandfather's basement. <coughs> this old chest of drawers that I found in my grandfather's basement. Believe it or not, I think it's solid mahogany. Uh, it's been painted several times. I did check it for lead paint at one point. It did not uh, It did not show up having lead paint on it, so that's why I kind of sanded it here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this cabinet. Um, future project, hopefully. Anyway, so we have the, the base here. Come over here, grab the uh, laundry basket. It will be accessible from this side because the laundry room is back here. So the laundry basket's here. Probably have a door, or two doors, or something on this side. And over here again, this will all be enclosed, utilizing some old doors that I have. So I think this is a good first step. Um, forgive me for the audio. I'm new to this, um, just learning. So you know, if you have any tips or comments, let me know. Anyway, this is a good first step. So let's start building the rest of it.
Okay, I just wanted to take a quick break um, and just show you guys the Halicord door is actually made of cardboard. It's wonderful. So, I'm actually going to cut some strips down. This is just, uh, I believe it's just over one and, or it's just under one and an eighth actually. It's just under one and an eighth. I'm going to strip down a bunch of these, glue them in, because I'm going to use pocket screws to sub to attach it to the to the beam across the ceiling and to the wall. But I just wanted to show you that all I'm doing is, you know, taking a chisel. I'm taking this old beat up chisel I use for scraping things and scraping glue and stuff. And I'm just coming in here and chipping away at this and then putting in my blocking. So this was my uh, this was a test piece to see if it worked. And it looks like it worked okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that along. The side here that's going to go up against the wall, and of course, uh, probably another piece up here along the top. This panel uh, temporarily up here it's snugged up in here it's pretty pretty sturdy uh, we are going to use pocket holes to secure it to the base and we're gonna put some screws here along this edge into the hollow core door this is the hinge side of the hollow core door so there's plenty of meat here for screws to grab into this will end this part of the video we'll come back with part two and part two 
we're going to create the uh, build the drawers for the bottom, create a door over here, and paint mm -hmm. this, sand it up, paint it, and finish it. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave comments below, or if you want to email me, my information is also below. Thank you.